Ho, ho, ho. We're going to open this nice new little Fokker D.7. How's that? Looks good, man. The new UMX. This is the one that uh, one of our buddies was talking about. Buy all these things, you know, and then we'll fly them and beat them up. Little combat style. Yeah. So opening up the box, what we get here is this little gem. And it is quite that's a baby. Fragile. It it weighs barely more than a paper airplane. All right, hold it steady. I'm going to zoom in tight. But some nice detail. That looks really nice. Yeah. The pilot, the machine guns, the motor. Even has the little flippies on the tail. Oh wow, that's going to look yeah. cool. Yeah. So and, and a little a little tail. Oh yeah, the little tail peg skid. there. So if you want to take off on the ground, you can. But it's probably better, probably hand launch. Yeah, I think so. But cute little rig. What's even cuter is I haven't seen a battery this small even in some of those little quads. That's oh my. What is it? Ninety? No, eighty milliamp hour. That's pretty tiny. Eighty. That's like mini vapor. Yeah, and it has territory. a magnet. On this side, so it just sticks. Oh, cool! Right in here when you plug it in. Nice. Yeah. All right, guys. So. Depending on when you're watching this video, check the link in the description. And uh, the next I think thing it's I'm on sale do. right now. Yeah, they're only about sixty dollars, and it comes ready to fly. Very cool. And this is where you actually charge the battery. It has a place right there and then you just pull that out and you can charge the battery there you go at the field charging yeah all right before the wind kicks up let's put this bad guy in the air turn on the transmitter these things are so tiny for people with big hands you break into the ladies bill Aha! Stuff moved. Sounds good. All right. Put this in its little magnetic holder. Let me zoom in on that, actually. Yeah. Hold that up. Got a lot of tags, that's for sure. Safety Susie. Oh, yeah. I usually clip those <laughs> things off. Yeah. See. See if we have throttle. Oh, yeah. Ooh. All right. Into the wind. At around half throttle, they say. Two more. Ooh. More. More throttle. Seems very tail heavy. Yeah, that sounded really weak. You got to give that sucker full throttle, otherwise that's not gonna gonna fly. Give it some down trim. Might try that a little bit. Yeah. Full throttle. If you can get a little height. And then I down got trim. Control, yeah. <laughs> it is only three channel. There gotcha. Go. Try some height. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, stay away from that light post. If you can. Well, it's always an adventure flying with Wild Bill Flynn. Oh, hey. Looks like he's getting it down a little bit. <laughs> Trying to get the rudder to work a little too. Okay. And now are there different rate configurations on that radio? Or is it just one rate? It's just this one rate okay. that I know of, yeah. It's starting to fly a little. There we go. Are you giving it some down pressure? Yeah, a little. There you go. A little more throttle. There you go.
Yeah, whoever told you half throttle is an idiot. No, it says that in the book. Started at half throttle. Well, Horizon Hobby, you guys are dumb. Actually, the right stick will control everything, too. I don't need to use the rubber. Oh, okay, so it's uh, set up like a Hobby itself. Zone champ it then. Acts, yeah, it can use the aileron and it's acting, I think it's running the rudder. Perfect. Yeah, that's how the Hobby Zone champ is. That's the beast I learned to fly on. <laughs> well, boy, if you want to try to learn to fly on this, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> You had it to dig deep handful. in your, your skill toolbox there, I could tell. Yeah, it is a handful. The little streamers look cool. Yeah, hopefully that's ca uh, being captured in the video. It's hard to, to keep it in frame. Yeah. Uh, being a wide enough angle to keep it in the frame yet. Yeah, I think if you get it trimmed out just a little bit more, that might be a little bit easier to, to do. I wonder what kind of flight times you should expect on this thing. Thinking you might want to get it trimmed for uh, landing. Yeah. I think I'm going to bring it in over here. Okay. Yeah, it's still going up. It's coming from the north. The wind is. Almost caught it. <laughs> Pretty good. Landing into the south. Nice. Yes, yeah, with the wind, actually. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. I was like, Bill, <laughs> land into the wind. That's textbook. But Wild Bill Flynn operates on his own. That was, hey, dude, that was a good maiden flight. Um, oh, and just in time. Look at the wind coming up now. Yeah. So, Ooh. what what are your thoughts after, after a different place? Yeah. What are your thoughts after? Wow, this really did kick up, and now it's yeah. coming from the west. My goodness. So what are your thoughts now after flying that thing? I I kind of like it. I think it'll be fabulous for indoors. This thing, yeah. you, you could fly it indoors, no problem. And probably needs even more. Actually, tail, you know what? It acts it, tail heavy, but it, it's something you else You need to about trim it. out the elevator more. That thing is, yeah, that's pointing up, dude. It is Even now. after, yeah, that's. Yeah, because I had it down before. Okay. Yeah. In fact, let's. If the weather holds out, charge it up. We'll see if we can fly it again. You never know. But that's weird. It changed for it was blowing at us when we wind, took off just four minutes ago. Wind in northwest Washington. But I like Washington. the little bugger. It's it's uh, it's pretty slick and well worth the money. Cute little control. Works good. It all works on one stick. Everybody will love it. <laughs> so the throttle's on the left stick like the normal. Yeah, look at that. But all your controls. See, it, Actually, it let even me runs the let me zoom in real quick. That looks so cool. Yeah. All right, man. Wild Bill Flynn and GB Linden out. We're out.